Hello, I'm Casey Gray, malignant plague caster, and I have 90 seconds to tell you about the Death Guard Legion of Space Marines. Of all the heretics, the Death Guard might be the ones who most enjoy themselves. Their devotion to Grandfather Nurgle the Plague God will cause your flesh to bloat and skin to rot, but it also completely kills off your sense of disgust, so none of that is a problem for you. If you're a Plague Marine, then as far as you're concerned, you're healthy, gifted, and refreshing. That's why they seek to share these blessings with the rest of humanity, so everyone can enjoy the luxury and comfort of Nurgle's contagions. They're also the only Space Marine Legion that keeps pets, perpetually accompanied by the chubby little mischief makers that are Nurglings. Look at those little guys. Raised in toxic gas by necromancers that hunted humans for sport, the Death Guard's genetic Primarch, Mortarian, led a rebellion against them that ended in his bio dad, the Emperor, stepping in to casually save his life and kill steal his adopted father. Mortarian had really wanted to kill his dad, and he kind of just transferred over that energy. When his fleet was on its way to burn Holy Terror to the ground, they were afflicted by terrible diseases of the warp, which ravaged the Legion so horribly that Mortarian cut a deal with Nurgle to save his boys. What counts as saved is debatable, but they didn't die. In fact, they're now by far the hardest Space Marines to kill since they're so disgustingly resilient. Leave a comment for what lore or Legion I should cover next.